What up guys, CJP here, back in Armour 3. Today I was going to do a, a mod showcase, which is a little different to what I uh, normally do with the tutorials, etc. But anyway, basically, I found a, a great mod called DM Masteries, and it's for all of you M4A1 fans out there, which is pretty much, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a gun that everybody recognises, it's a gun that everybody enjoys to use. So, you get three variants of this rifle, and I'm going to show you all of them right now. So, we get the default black version. So, as you can see, whoever made this mod put a lot of effort into it. Some textures, you can even see the writing on the rifle. Some sort of uh, dirt effects at the top or rust, I'm not quite sure. Um, the semi-auto and automatic uh, switch doesn't actually... Um, change with like sort of a lot of rifles you see with mods nowadays for armor 3 the uh, semi-auto fully automatic switch actually moves changes um fortunately it doesn't with this rifle but to be honest i don't really care because everything else is just brilliant um obviously this is the m4 it's just got a rail on it there's no grip which you see with like um most M4 A ones. I mean, this is actually an M4, so I suppose I've got their mixed up apologies for that. I mean, it is just a really well textured rifle. I mean, whoever done the mod, really, they've outdone themselves. I mean, uh, there, uh, there's there's quite a few mods out there, and a lot of people do sort of put effort into them, but this is just, this one for me stands out. So this is the woodland variant, let's try and get out of the shadow right now. Yet again, another sweet rifle, uh, camo is perfect. Another thing I'd like to quickly point out is, with quite a few mods you see, sort of your hands, like how you hold the rifle at times is out of place. With this rifle it is perfect, your hands are on the grip, your hands on the handle, how you expect them to be, there's a reload animation, uh, custom sound effects. Uh, we've got all of that. The last variant of this rifle is the desert version. Yet again, sweet looking rifle. Really cool effect going on right here, sort of this scratchy... I'm not even quite sure. I just know it looks awesome. Uh, you can literally see the writing right down there. Goes round. I mean, I'm just really pleased with this mod pack. I mean, I'm happy I found it. I wish it was in the FHQ. You know, to be honest, that pack is a lot more buggy. I've really, I've got to be honest, terrible sound effects. But another great thing about this mod pack is that it is actually compatible with all of the in-game attachments. So if you wanted a hollow sight, um, a laser pointer, sort of like a CQC, CQB variant, you could do that and it all works you can see that it is slightly off center the hollow sight but it still fires right where the um, dot is actually pointing so you don't have to worry about that um, just gonna flick through these the hammer sight looks pretty sweet now I've only gone with uh, blue four attachments in here a couple of green four Aiko another sweet variant I mean this mod is still alpha, but it works in beta. I mean, all the beta attachments work on the rifle and look really good with the rifle as well, I've got to be honest. They all work perfect. We've got one last sort of attachment, and I was quite interested in this because it's quite, you see quite a lot sort of uh, marksman variants of the M4A1 in Ace. You had the marksman version. So obviously I'm just going to quickly show the reload animation. So that looks really sweet. I've got this uh, sort of marksman variant I've made. So you can literally do anything with this mod. Now we're going to go ahead here, pop some shots off. And take, going to leave the silencer in here. Just going to go default for now, I think, just with a pointer. So. This is just going to show the sound effect and spiral some rounds.
So, a lot of people in the comments on this mod say that it does sound like a paintball gun. But to me, I quite like that sound. I like the beefiness to it. It, it makes you feel like you're wielding something that could actually do some damage. Um, to me, I, th I just think that that's the sort of property I enjoy. I mean, it looks sweet. It sounds sweet to me anyway. But anyway, what I think we should do right now is test it against some live targets, considering these guys are pretty easy. So here's our live targets, and let's do some damage. So, as you can see, it's pretty much the same as the MX. The one thing with armour is that at times certain targets seem to take more bullets than what's actually needed, which is kind of frustrating. But overall this rifle's damage is pretty effective at sort of short to medium range. I haven't really tried long range engagements. I put a guy out there, I'm going to go ahead and show off the uh, SOS scope on this rifle, just to show his capabilities. And that's only medium range obviously, but it's still a nice... Oh, had a little fear drop there. Still great to sort of test it out, so this guy looks really happy. And, uh, yeah, his day's about to go to shit. <laughs> he just sort of spazzed out and dropped to the floor, but, uh, he's pretty much dead. So anyway, this has been CJP with the M4 pack. I am going to put the, uh, oh, blimey. The link in the description to this mod. Now it is uh, uh, downloaded off of Armaholic. It's a really easy install. If you don't know how to install it, then be sure to ask in the comments or if need be, just ask and I will make a video tutorial for how to install mods so that they don't uh, corrupt your game. But uh, yeah, until next time, this has been CJP. Cheers for watching.